Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back for another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new Gala unit coming tomorrow, Gala Shell, and then I'm also going to talk a little bit about the brand new summon banner that was just released for people who are re-rolling or never did the tutorial summon, or the summon that specifically gives you, I think, a 5 star, or something like that. Um, I'll be giving some, I'll be talking about that a little bit. I'm going to start with Gala Shell, and then we'll go into that. Um, that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like, comment about how you feel about any of the things talking about today, and subscribe to me. There you go. All right, so a Dragalia. This says remix, but they've come back and said it's not a remix. It's a Gala Dragalia banner. Um, what's the difference? Well, Gala Dragalia remix would say would mean that only Shell would be in it. And typically, they only do remixes if um, it's a character that's coming back. Since Shell is brand new to the game, it can't be a remix. <laughs> I think they made that distinction and were like, eh, we, we messed up on that. Um, let's go over what she does. If you have been paying attention to the story, this makes perfect sense. This is Shell. Um, she is a mana caster unit attack. Um, the third scion of Alberia has set her sights on an even bigger stage, the world. As a shrewd diplomat, she has many cards to play when negotiating with the other nations, including the mana caster development that she leads. So if you've been wondering, hey, uh, I thought mana casters were only supposed to exist in the olden times. Um, Shell is the reason why they are no longer just exist in the olden times. Um, her skills are Splendildo... <laughs> Splend... Splend... No, that looks like... No, it's not Splendildo. Splendido Dominio. I, by the way, I can pronounce this just as well as the shell the voice. No, I'm not going to be mean to her. She's doing her best. Splendido... <laughs> this isn't a joke. I'm moving on. Shareable 5. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead. Inflicts shadow blights. 1. And deals damage... Splendido Domino deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts Shadow Blight, and deals bonus damage based on the number of buffs the user has. The maximum bonus damage is given when the u when the user has 15 or more buffs. And this is where they're gonna actually show you this is something brand new, so I'm glad that they're doing this. Damage 80 times 11 hits, damage 25 times 15 hits max, damage this okay, this this stuff right here. Um, the numbers, I have no idea what any of this means, so I'm not going to mention it. Just know that I'm sure the people, for the people who this is important to, they know what's up. Uh, skill energy required 5,670, and when it's a special skill, it's 9,072. Special effects is give shadow blights, last 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, and damages 41. All right, let's go into the next one. Breno Gatto. Okay. Reduces, I think I got that one better. Um, reduces the strength, if I can say so myself. Reduces the strength of the target in nearby enemies and reduces the strength of enemies in buff zones. Skill energy required 15. What? <laughs> that, that is not 15. Uh, 15,120. I think that's how you pronounce that. Special effects, strength minus 30%. Last five seconds, strength minus 5%, last five seconds. Okay, so does it twice? Oh, I guess it's specifically the buff zone one is the five. Okay, so the first one is 30 seconds and the second one is five seconds. And it lasts that long? I guess it's specifically whoever's in it. I should actually look at the trailer after this, which is what I'll do. Gauge accelerator, 20%. Uh, shadow poised. Shadow Blight Punisher is if they yeah if they have that then congratulations you deal more damage. Radiant Scion two when shape shifting Shell will transform into Cat Seath, regard regardless of what dragon she is equipped with. In addition, using Berlon Gato will grant her the Royal Pride effect for the remainder of the quest. Royal Pride can stack up to ten times and each stack reduces damage by one percent. 
We got Princess Grace 2, reduces susceptibility to blindness and paralysis by 100%, and Star of the Dance 2, increases 4 strike damage by 45%, increases it up to additional 30% based on the number of buffs Shell has, and when she has 5 or more Royal Pride stacks, creates a buff zone around her that reduces damage by 10%. Alright, so let's go look at that trailer real quick. Okay, here's a trailer with no sound because I'm afraid of getting copyright struck. The pleasure is all mine. Just imagine me being Shell. I am Shell. Hola, third princess of the kingdom of Alberia. Be glad in your hearts. This is a real good picture. With me as your concierge with not to fear. Oops. No matter how burdensome your journey may be. If you have royal pride, do not flee the truth. I feel like that's all the Alberian princes and princesses do. If you cannot continue this dance, if you cannot continue to win, then you'll be accomplishing nothing and you will be nothing. Is she just talking shit about all her brothers and sisters? I am a princess. With her hands on the reins of the world. Now, let the party begin. Alright, so now we can see your stuff. Damn, that's a big ass gun! <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna be that big. Galashiel. Rapid fire mana caster attack unit. Yeah, all stuff I already know. Oh, uh, really? You're not gonna show anything more than that? Is this how you're gonna do me, Dragalia? Mm. Alright, let's go back to the other screen. S so, yeah, Galashiel. Um. How do I feel about her? Well, first of all, she is a Gala unit coming out right before um, a collab banner. And the last... So this is how I personally base off everything. Is that if they are a Gala unit, there's a pretty good chance that they're going to be better than um, whatever the collab is going to end up being. For example, Mars, the, the, the first Gala dragon ever for Fire Emblem Heroes, ended up being better than... Um, the specific units re released that time, at that time, at least I think he is. If I were to rank Mars, Krom, Peony, and Tiki, it would be, um, and then sh the other girl that I completely forgot the name of, but she was free to play, so everyone gets her, so it doesn't count. Uh, Mars would probably be number one, and then Peony, and then Tiki, and then Krom, in that order or so. But the main thing I'm trying to say here is that usually, for the most part, a galley unit is stronger than a collab unit because galley units are meant to be super crazy limited and also super... They're basically meant to be the cream of the crop, the best of the best. Um, and regular units usually get the benefit of being able to have mana spirals later down in the line. So, for example, we don't know what the P5 people do, but even if they're not great at the start um, or they're okay, there's always a chance for them to get a mana spiral later on in like a year or two. And for them to be crazy good, and they get a, a boost from that specifically. Um, it's really hard to tell sometimes. This is a long way of me saying that I am going to be summoning for her because she is a galley unit, and I usually end up doing a video for every galley unit. Um, I don't know if I'll be going crazy. Maybe I'll specifically go until... I won't be going for a sparking, and I hate chasing mana casters because of my one bad experience with them. But I had a pretty good uh, chance with Leonidas, so I'll definitely go for her. In terms of unit, what I look for in a unit, which is one, a girl, two, pretty, and three, looks fun. She has a big-ass minigun. She looks amazing in this picture. This is the best shells ever look. She looks like freaking Lusamane, I think, from Pokemon. The hot mom from Pokemon Sun and Moon, was it? Yeah, the, the blonde girl. You know the one I'm talking about if you play Pokemon or see naughty Pokemon sites. Anyway, continuing on. Um... And what's the third thing I'm looking for? They're a girl. So there you go. She hits all three for me, so I will be summoning for her. Um, but I won't be going full sparking. I will at least save. Um, I will save enough for a sparking, because currently I have 50,000, so I got I got stuff to spare. If you if you don't got 50,000 and you're a big Persona 5 fan, I would suggest not summoning. If you are a brand new player, then you don't really have to worry as much, because you're going to have plenty of stuff to kind of go with. So let's go into the other thing. So, obviously, I'm not a brand new player, so I haven't been able to look at what the banner is. And I'm specifically also looking for, um, not that I'm looking for, I'm building towards a video where I do something on it. I'm just not doing something on it right now. Um, so, we'll go over here to Twitter, where 
There you go, Michael Akum. How do you pronounce your name, man? If you're watching this, tell me how you pronounce Akim Akimil DL. Uh, good dude. Um, you can go to his YouTube and subscribe there. If you actually want to know a lot of like informative stuff, I guess he's definitely a, for someone who would know more than me. I think, or at least his brother does, depending on how much his brother talks crap on him. Anyway, let's continue on. So what he's basically telling, he's done the work for me. He's saying all galas are here. Gala Mim, Gala Cleo, Gala Alex, Grace, Gala Mars. I thank you for inclu including Grace, because even though she is not a Gala unit, she's just as important. Gala Leonidas, Gala Uidin, Gala Luca, Gala Leaf, Bellina, so many good options. So here's the thing. If you're if you're looking to start off start out uh in um dragalia loss now is the best time ever because you can really literally roll in to this brand the only you the only cali unit that is not in this banner is her so you can do your free some summons on her and then you can also start off with an amazing set of uh, uh, gala mim is amazing gala cleo is amazing gala alex is amazing honestly i never i didn't think that they would include because they didn't have them in the um, in the picture but they're totally on there obviously the rates for this banner must be atrocious um but also if you're lucky hey there's infinite rerolls, so keep on going until you reach your dreams um if you are planning to start um Jigalia lost literally you can start at any time now because this banner exists it's going to be very hard to not always be able to uh start off in Jigalia with this banner around um but you, if you totally don't want to summon on her, you're here for Persona 5, you can totally just pick up a great, try and re-roll a Grace, a Mim, a Cleo, an Alex, and just kind of save your, maybe a Mars if you're feeling greedy. I don't know, just try, you could literally just keep on re-rolling. He's like, he, I'm kind of with him on this one. How do you make a list for this when literally everyone is on it? It would be the equivalent of, imagine a banner in the gotcha that you love the most. And they had a banner with infinite rerolls you could summon on five times and it had all the best units on it it's kind of impossible right it's extremely tough to actually do something like this so if you'll excuse us for waiting may waiting a little bit before we give our specific opinions on something obviously for my for example us there's a difference between our two opinions because actually i don't know I would definitely say Grace and Mim are two of the big ones to get, along with Gala Cleo, Gala Alex, and Gala Mars. That would be my personal reroll thing. Um, if you wanted to go f pure fire, I, I would go Gala Mim, Gala Mars, Gala Leonidas, and Gala Laxi. Um, if you wanted to go just pure shadow, you could go Gala Cleo, Gala Alex, Gala... You see, the thing is, is that there's so many options of how you specifically want to reroll where so many of the units are good. It's hard. But I just want to say, the banner is good. You could totally... Now is the best time to be playing Dragalia Lost. So do it. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Again, you can leave a like. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's summon video. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Because, oh boy, man. I'm a, I'm about to be into a very rough time. If you want to talk about Wokey's specific, like... Actually, you know, I won't get into it. Until next time, everyone. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.